Leading up to the game, inside and outside of UW Fieldhouse was alive with red and white as fans packed the old barn to watch. Arman Rahman caught up with some of them before tonight's clash. The Badger spirit is running through fans, young and old, at the UW Fieldhouse, and they're all gathered here tonight for one thing. Well, we're here for a repeat. <laughs> Pure domination, yeah. We're going three sets, 25-0. Easy. Of course, the game was actually quite closer, but fans hope for a win started well before the first spike. We have been following them quite heavily this season, so we're really excited for postseason games and that we're able to come to one of them. But excitement wasn't enough to beat the rush for tickets. UW Fieldhouse sold out quickly. Thankfully, Will Morris had a heavy hitter on his team. My my mom actually got me the tickets and like waited at the time for it to come out, like 9 a.m., so she got tickets for both of us. For some spectators, it's the second year in a row they get to watch the Badgers advance, while others... What are we here to watch? The Badgers, yeah. ...may just start witnessing their women's volleyball dynasty. We got really excited for the championship last year, and we've been going to lots of games this year, haven't we? Hope the win streak keeps going and the tournament rolls on. And for students, the post-win night is definitely still young. Madison's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be electric. I don't think any homework will be done tonight. <laughs> now fans are gonna have to continue bringing that energy as the Badgers advance to the Elite Eight, paving the way for their second NCAA championship. In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now.